Organized could be key in making it a successful school year. Certified professional organizer and Ciplicana owner Eliza Cantley is here with ways to help the kids get organized and stay organized. Absolutely. Let's start with getting organized because some of us just have trouble getting there first. So this is all about getting organized in the home, right? Right. We'll start with the home. And okay. basically the general idea is that for kids, there's sort of that Bermuda Triangle of the desk at home, the locker, yes. and the backpack, and things just go missing in between. Sure. So hopefully I can show you some ways to create more harmony between the three. Okay. So we'll start with the at-home systems, and the reason I have a caddy here is because so often kids don't do their homework at their desk. They like to be in the dining room or in the kitchen. They like to be around the family and involved. That's clever. So I like this because it's portable, and then when the parents say, okay, okay, take things off the table, it's time for dinner, then it's just easy to grab and go. And people can't see, but there there's some rubber bands in here that can actually keep everything tied down. Right, so things aren't wiggling As they're running around. around with it. And then this caddy is actually a repurposed toothbrush holder. No kidding. Yeah, so That's you can get perfect. creative. You don't have to break the bank here. Okay. And then this is a portable filing system because when you bring papers home from school that sure. don't need to go back, like homework, then they can be filed here for future notes that kids can study. Sure. And you can decorate it and personalize it. Absolutely. I like it. So as they move out of the house into their lockers, that's another place where parents don't necessarily have a lot of control over, right? Right. So from the house to the locker, we have the backpack. Okay. So I'm sure everyone has heard of the zippered binder here, which is awesome because yes. if you have little bits, then it won't go falling out and you can sort of add your own little organizers in here. And of course, I have my cell phone here instead of a <laughs> like calculator. Like kids these days. They right. all have cell phones. What are calculators? We don't even know anymore. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And then you've got the labeled subjects here to keep you all organized at the end of the day. And now one of the items I have here for the transition from home to school are checklists. Okay. So, uh, so this is Emily's backpack checklist. So there's you know, the everyday things like the lunchbox, sure. the water bottle, the snacks, you know, library books, EpiPen. Then there are art days when you'll need to bring in specific items. Mm -hmm. Maybe on gym days you'll need specific items like a knee brace or gym clothes or deodorant sure. or what have you. And then, you know, finally down here we've got musical rehearsal items for days when you have to rehearse. And then on this checklist, we have the daily after school routine and the weekly routine. And this is really important because I feel like so many kids are, you know, so focused on the organizing items, their parents sure. just throw these items at them. But really, it's all about connecting with your kids. And so here's a daily checklist and then a weekly one. For parents and kids to take a look to at. To connect on. Right. right. Okay. And then we move to... The backpack. This is the backpack? This is the locker. This is the locker. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'll show you this first. This is a locker divider. It's actually an extra shelf. Perfect. So you double your surface area. You can put books on top and whatever you need beneath, whether it's a lunch bag. That's brilliant. I remember just piling things up in the locker when right. I was in school. <laughs> right. And yeah. actually, a lot of those things that you tend to pile up are notebooks and folders and the thinner things that kind of get flimsy and flip sure. floppy that don't stack like the books. So this magazine organizer could be a great way to tame those. Okay. And then finally, I set this up like the inside door of a locker. So you've got the checklist preparing you to complete the circle and bring you back home. You know, things to uh -huh. pack for home. You've got the mirror, you've got the supplies and even a clip for the hair ties, so you're oh, all set. that's so prepared. And you used to be a school teacher, right? So you know how crazy school days can get. Yes. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Insane. Well, thank you so much. For more information about Eliza, we have a link to her on our website. Lisa?